The second phase Young Children Affected by HIV and AIDS initiative aims to improve developmental outcomes for young children living in five East and Southern African countries. And to do that, we're continuing to build caregiver capacity to meet developmental needs of their children, to improve systems and networks, and to bolster evidence so we're better able to inform policy and practice. So we're investing more in research and field testing to have the best approaches that can then be scaled up. Um, we're also going to be focused more at the younger end of the age spectrum, that first thousand days um, from conception through age two. Because HIV poses such vulnerabilities for development, we know it's not the only vulnerability and often HIV goes along with poverty and other forms of vulnerability, but we've chosen communities and countries that have been struggling with the AIDS pandemic for a number of years now, and we believe that in order to enable families to live healthy with the virus, that we really need to look beyond sort of the basic medical interventions of testing and treating while those are critical, but to also really look at surviving and thriving. We expect to have a number of approaches, field tested, ideally costed, and ready to be, to be scaled, and stronger links to partners like the World Bank and others that are in a position to scale those investments. We are hoping that in a number of these countries, early childhood development, um, the stimulation, nurturing care, parenting components, um, and assessing developmental milestones are incorporated throughout the health system. I think the most important thing about the strategy is that it's, it's extremely practical, so it's looking at ways over the next five years to get to what is now a 2030 goal. It's extremely humbling to hear from parents and community members um, who are visited by trained volunteers or go to a clinic and get information in a group session who might attend a parent savings group that now includes some parenting information. Our partners are making the connections between local communities, um, national level policies, and then global level bodies such as the World Health Organization and UNICEF to really move this agenda forward.